hello how to solve for x and y in this equation s plus y is equal to 50 s y is equal to 100 solution s plus y is equal to 50 let's call this equation one s y is equal to 100 let's call this equation two then from equation one x plus y is equal to 50. Let's make s the subject of the formula. s is equal to 50 minus y. Let's call this equation 3. From equation 2, x, y, is equal to 100 now let's substitute for x we have 50 minus y bracket y is equal to 100 then 50 times y this is 50 y minus y times y that is y square is equal to 100 here we have 50y minus y square minus 100 is equal to 0. Then let's divide all through by minus 1. Here will be minus 50y plus y square plus 100 is equal to 0. Let's put this in standard form. Here we have y square minus 50y plus 100 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a and from this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 50 c is equal to 100 then d is equal to b square minus 4 ac that is discriminant we know our b this is equal to minus 50 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 that is a multiplied by c is 100 this is equal to minus 50 square that is 2500 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 100 that is 400 then discriminant D is equal to 2,500 minus 400. That is 2,100. Then let's substitute this into this formula. Now we have Y is equal to minus bracket minus 50 plus or minus square root of 2100 over 2 multiplied by 1. y is equal to minus times minus 50. This is 50 plus or minus square root of 2100 can be written as square root of 21 multiplied by 100 over 2 times 1, 2. Then here, y is equal to 50 plus or minus square root of 100 that is 10 then square root of 21 over 2 y is equal to 50 over 2 plus or minus 10 over 2 square root of 21 2 year 1 2 year 25 2 here 1, 2 here 
5. Y is equal to 25 plus or minus 5 square root of 21. Therefore, y1 is equal to 25 plus 5 square root of 21 and y2 is equal to 25 minus 5 square root of 21. These are the values of y. We've gotten the values of y. Let's solve for x. To solve for x, then from equation 3, x is equal to 50 minus y. Then x1 will be equal to 50 minus y1 is 25 plus 5 square root of 21. x1 is equal to 50 minus 25 minus 5 square root of 21. x1 is equal to 50 minus 25. This is 25 minus 5 square root of 21. This is the values of x1. Now let's solve for x2. Then x2 is equal to 50 minus y2. x2 is equal to 50 minus y2 is 25 minus 5 square root of 21. Then S2 is equal to 50 minus 25 plus 5 square root of 21. S2 is equal to 50 minus 25. This is 25 plus 5 square root of 21. This is the value of S2. Therefore, our final answer are x1 comma y1 is equal to 25 minus 5 square root of 21 comma 25 plus 5 square root of 21 also s2 comma y2 is equal to 25 plus 5 square root of 21 comma 25 minus 5 square root of 21. If you look at this, you will discover that the value of S1 here is equal to the value of Y2 here and the value of Y1 here is equal to the value of S2 here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye.